In this brief video, we're going to talk about using an external 10 megahertz reference as an input into your Freedom R8000 or R8100 service monitor. Let's first talk about why you would want to do this and when you would want to do this. If you're in a shop and you have an external 10 megahertz reference, a GPS disciplined reference or a rubidium standard, um, or are required to do so, by your test procedures uh, or you simply desire to lock your instrument to the house reference it's a very simple process on the instrument on the left hand side at the bottom you'll notice a port this is intended uh, as an input or output if you would like to lock other instruments to your R8100 by default this port is an output if you would like to use an external reference, you simply plug it in and you will then need to press the blue settings button, followed by system settings, go down to reference clock mode, as you can see it defaults to output and then you will switch it to input. Now if there is no uh, 10 megahertz reference present, the instrument will not find it obviously, it will also not be functional. It's going to tell you here and if I now press enter and go back you will see that I no longer have a noise floor the instrument is waiting for that 10 megahertz reference and so unless I have an external 10 megahertz reference the instrument will not function properly in my case I'm going to go back to system settings reference clock mode set it back to an output enter and there we go we're back to operational okay that's uh, the topic we had for this video. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to contact us. My name is Chuck Cox. Uh, you can also uh, ask questions of your distributor or manufacturer's representative or call us directly at the factory. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you again in another video. To find our representative near you, visit www.freedomcte.com forward slash sales.